If you're tired of the struggle of getting little kids into their car seats or you've already been on the search for the best family cargo bike, I am going to tell you I think we have found it and we found the solution to make running errands, school drop-off, beach trips, all of the things easier and that is the Madsen Cycle. In this review, I'm going to share our personal experience with the bike from the unboxing to the first ride to even a fall and safety concerns as well as a ton of other frequently asked questions when buying a bucket bike. Be sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell because in my next video I'll talk about how it compares to competitors like Radio Flyer, Burla, and Bunch Bikes. In the description box below you can find chapters to jump to any relevant section of this video as well as a link to the blog post version of this video to go back and quick reference anything as well as that's where I'll keep it up to date with any discount codes they're currently offering. I know this whole month of August they're doing back to school where you get $250 off your bike. First what is a Madsen bike? How is it a little bit different than some of the other family cargo bikes out there? It is a long tail cargo bike with a rear bucket in the back that has four seat belts for you to transport up to four kids, or you can do like an adult and two kids. It can carry a whopping 600 pounds. That includes the actual riders. I'll jump into this a little bit more once we get into the competitor section of this, but the other types of styles would be this type of long tail cargo bike where it's more of just like a seat in the back. And then you can also get a front bucket bike. I have to say this one is by far our favorite because it actually rides like a bike with the added bonus of getting to bring your family or friends along. Most of those other competitors do not offer suspension on their bike. The Madsen actually does have it. And that's largely thanks to the fact that it is a husband and wife team. The husband has actually been custom building bikes for 20 years. They're based out of Utah. They have kids themselves. And it really shows when you ride this bike, you can feel the fact that they address so many pain points in riding a family cargo bike compared to others. A little bit of backstory as to who we are and why this is working for us. We are a family of four. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. We are a one-car family and we live in a small beach town where parking is definitely the hottest commodity come season. We went on the search to find the perfect family cargo bike that would make it easy for us to get to the beach, to grab our groceries, and go around town. We knew we wanted some sort of bucket bike to make our life easier and I sent my husband to do the research and he quickly came back raving about the Madsen cycle. Only I was kind of weirded out by it. I was really set on on a front bucket bike. I thought as a mom being able to see my kids while riding just felt a little bit safer and more secure to me. But he felt significantly more confident in the Madsen cycle's ability to turn and just its overall handling because of the rear bucket. And now that we've had it and we've just ridden the other style, I have to say I really do agree with him. There's a night and day difference in terms of handling between the two and I feel a lot more confident on my Madsen cycle. I'm easily able to load the Madsen with groceries and kids. I can stuff beach towels and toys under their seat benches. We shoot down the road to pick up friends' kids with ease, and we even take the kids to school in it every day. I also love that the kids can sit next to each other or across from each other, depending on their moods. Honestly, it's one of our favorite possessions at this point, and it's quickly improved our overall quality of life. I was just talking to a friend about this the other day. We live just under three miles from the beach. It's not something that you can really walk. And before this house, we lived one mile from the beach, which we could walk. When I had like your regular standard bike, it took me about 10 minutes minutes to get down to the beach from our old house. And then on the Madsen cycle with the added distance, it only takes me 15 minutes to get there. And let me tell you, it's a lot nicer to be riding a bike with the breeze versus walking there with the summer heat. So I have to say it really like does open up so much more terrain in a comfortable way. If you're kind of like on the fence, how close or far should I be from my ultimate desired location? And even yesterday I told my kids that we were going to go to the beach and they were both groaning. They didn't want to go in their car seats. And when I said let's take the bike they both were like yeah let's do it it really does just change the entire experience of getting around as a family you know the wind the sunshine the fresh air they just make it so much easier to get around with kids all right so let's jump into more of our personal experience with mats and bike when the box first arrived we quickly pulled out the little unboxing youtube tutorial and i was definitely a little bit nervous because i know absolutely nothing about bikes it literally took me until i was like 11 years old to ride a bike i don't know i felt just a little bit like are we gonna be able to handle this? But I have to say the hardest part was actually just opening the box because we didn't have a proper box cutter. So we had to use a kitchen knife and scissors to do it, which took longer than necessary. And that is really how easy they make it for you. You basically just pop on a tire and just have to cut out all of the packaging. It is so simple to get started. I think once the box was actually open, it took us less than 30 minutes. 
Now, in terms of our first rides, <laughs> these were interesting and I do not recommend doing what we did. So when we unboxed it, we had like eight neighborhood kids on our street. They were all obviously very excited and wanted to jump in the bike. And when the kickstand on this is engaged, it is so sturdy and stable that you don't really realize how much weight you are about to be carrying. So like four kids jumped in. I walked forward to disengage the kickstand and I immediately tilted over because I just wasn't prepared for that weight load on the back. Nobody got hurt. It didn't like hit the ground or anything. It was just like, oh, okay. So we kicked some kids off. But that's all to say that learning to ride a cargo bike is a little bit of a learning curve. Learning to ride an e-bike is a little bit of a learning curve. And this is both. So I strongly suggest taking your first few rides by yourself and then adding in one or two kids as you feel more comfortable and then working your way up to four kids. Now, even without doing a proper test ride by ourselves, our first trips around the neighborhood, we both did it with two kids on the back. It's definitely doable. It's that easy to learn how to ride and figure it out. So you can actually get the Madsen on just like a regular standard bike or you can get it with the electric assist. That's the one we chose to do because while it does ride like a regular bike, obviously anytime you're carrying that much extra weight, you're gonna feel it and the e-assist makes it so you don't feel it. Additionally, some states don't allow this, but if your state allows throttles, I strongly suggest getting an e-bike with the throttle, especially if you're on the shorter end like me. Because I'm on the shorter end, when I go to start on a bike, I typically like shift my weight over to one side. So one foot's on the ground while the other foot goes up onto the pedal. If you're riding a regular bike, you probably don't think much about this and it's not a big deal. But when you have an extra hundred pounds on the back or more, when you do that tilt, you're now going to have to hold that extra weight, which can be tricky. When we first got our bike, it did not have the throttle on it. So I really only ever felt comfortable with two kids because that was as much as I could handle in that moment before I shifted to riding the bike. However, once I got the throttle installed, basically how I do it is load all the kids. I walk forward to disengage the kickstand. I sit on the bike seat and then I just throttle it forward. And once I have that momentum, I go ahead and start pedaling like regular. And that kind of eliminates the need to do my lopsided kickoff. In terms of Madsen's customer service and maintenance, like I said, husband and wife team based out of Utah with their own kids that really designed and refined this entire bike setup. And their customer service is exactly what you would expect from a small business like theirs. They're super responsive. They have tons of YouTube videos, not just teaching you how to set up your bike, but teaching you how to maintain it and care for it in the long run, where even novices like myself who know nothing about bikes feel confident in being able to tell like when do I need to replace my tires? How to install the throttle that I ended up getting after the fact. They make it very, very easy to know your way around your bike, even if you have had zero bike experience before. Now for my DIYers, my budget lovers, you can go ahead and purchase their regular Madsen bike and then purchase your own battery kit separately. I'll link the one they use in the description box below. It does need some modifications because this is such a long bike. It's gonna be different because Madsen did some custom tweaks to that. You can and purchase their full setup on their website or if you want to take the budget route you can just go ahead and get the battery set up and figure out how to gym your gate. Of course the big question always whenever something like this comes up is going to be safety and I'm happy to say we have fallen on this. I am not happy to say that we fall on it but I'm happy to say it happened to us so I could tell you about our experience with it because it definitely took away a lot of my fears I used to have. Initially my biggest concern with the safety of this bike was the fact that it only has lap buckles and so whenever we do buckle our kids I always always buckle them in really secure so if they were to fall over they would stay rooted in the seat and unfortunately our first week that we got it my husband was riding down a forest trail to the beach and hit a rock in the sand and it was crazy um I wasn't there for it but apparently like the bike went hit a pole like a wooden stake that was in the path and then fell over onto the other side so he got hit on both sides which you guys can see a little bit of the scuff marks here and both my kids were completely unharmed and totally fine. One of my kids, you could see like a little bit of mark where the seatbelt got him. Um, and then my other kid had a little scratch on her elbow, but the rim of the bucket completely protected them. The thing is durable. It's dirty. The seatbelts really do work. Um, my kids were unscathed. My husband did 
of a first degree shoulder separation. We've now ridden over 200 miles. My kids were only scarred of, to ride the bike with my husband. They never had a problem getting on it the next day with me. So I think they felt pretty safe in it too. This was just like a freak accident where there was a rock hidden in the trail and it just got them. In terms of the ride, I've already said it rides like a regular bike. I would say it probably performs best on just like your standard flat road. Obviously, anytime you're gonna have that much weight going uphill, it's gonna be just more taxing on the motor or on you. And we have a lot of bumpy sidewalks where we live where tree roots have gone and pushed it up or just potholes have gotten filled. And I have to say having that suspension really is just so helpful. In the blog post, I have all of the specs for the bike, including the electric bike specs, as well as kind of walking you through some of the accessories that you can get with the bike. So I'll leave a link to that here. And it comes in a ton of different colors to choose from. We got the vintage blue, but in retrospect, I wish we actually would have gotten the yellow one. So hear me out. After the fall, I was just really thinking about safety more. In terms of like being easily seen by cars, I think the yellow is just a really good option or red to just stand out. What I do, because we do cross a pretty big highway to get down to the beach and to take the kids to school, I wear a giant yellow helmet. So just kind of throwing that out there as like an added safety thing to consider. And then if you wanted to test ride a Madsen bike before going ahead and taking the leap with it, if you are local in Utah, they sell direct out of their storefront. So you can always go there and do that. If you are not local though, on their website, they have the Madsen map where owners have signed up to answer any questions that people might have. And if they're local to you, possibly even take out their bike for a test ride. So be sure to go ahead and check that to see if there's anyone nearby you. Like I said, having this bike has been a total game changer for our family. <laughs> Moving a little bit further away from the beach, you kind of lose that beach town feel. But once we started taking this down, it brought it right back. We take to the farmer's market, ice cream dates, all of the good stuff. And we adore having it. It makes getting the kids to go on grocery runs so much easier because you don't got to deal with their car seats. And we go to a small school, so we don't really have to worry about the school drop-off line. But if you do have to deal with the school drop-off line, this is a really nice hack to skip it. <laughs> Overall, I have to say having a family cargo bike will change your entire quality of life. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss my next video where I talk about how the Madsen bike compares to competitors. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, drop me a comment below with what your experience is of Madsen bike or any questions that I maybe missed. And until next time, my name's Rachel. Have a good one.